according to this model. You can see here. So how many variables, you have, how many uh, hypotheses I have now here? Can anybody tell me? Six. More than six, that will be so, uh, nine, three. Nine, eight. Eight. Eight hypotheses, sir. Eight. Eight hypotheses. <laughs> eight or okay. nine. It will uh, be eight let me nine. show you. How many independent variables we have now? Six. Five. Five, no more six. We use now five. Oh. Five. This five oh, going to independent, dependent variables. So how many hypotheses do you have? Five. 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 Okay. Now this five going to attitude, how many variables uh, hypotheses we have? There are five. That means ten. Ten. Five. So five, five, ten. And then ten. attitude ten. going to intention. How many hypotheses here? One. 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 So altogether, how many now? Eleven. 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 Is that clear now? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So now, for this... It's not clear, ask... Prof. I'm sorry, yes. Yes, please. It's not clear, Prof. Are you, ca can you come again, Prof, please? You are having five independent, five independent going to dependent. So I have five hypotheses here. Five independent going to mediating. I have another five hypotheses here. And then attitude going to intention. I have one hypothesis here. So I have five, five, one, 11 hypotheses. Is that clear? I get it now, Prof. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, what happens if you find, because you have to read Baron and Kenny uh, and few other papers that talks about mediating and moderating, you cannot simply put something as mediating. I just put it something just to let you know and see how we run it and explain it. But when you introduce a mediating and moderating, there are certain prerequisites, certain conditions that got to be fulfilled in order for you to introduce mediating or moderating, okay? So now, uh, I have 11. So how many regression I have to run? Can anybody tell me how many regression I have to run? Someone sir, please tell me six, how many regression eight. I have to run. Sir, it could be six. How can it be six, brother Sayar? Like we have... We just it's... have three, right? You look at the three arrow. Yes. Follow, follow the arrow, yes. All independent going to dependent, one multiple regression. All independent going to mediating, one multiple regression. Yes, yes, sir. Attitude to intention, one, one simple regression. That's one to one. Do you follow me? It's okay, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. There's another way of running it, uh, which is not acceptable anymore now, but still I will run it for you, okay? So basically you have to run three times, three different regression, which is acceptable now based on Wilson. W-I-L-S-O-N, Wilson's paper. It has to be run this way. But previously, we used to follow uh, different, Baron and Kenny also accept that. Uh, so let me show you how we used to do that. Okay, so I'm going back to data. Actually, from output also, I can get the data. So I go to analyze. Can you follow me? You can run with me now. So I go to linear. And I reset again for you to be able to follow it closely, okay? So, oh, sorry, I have one, remember one variable, one case I took it out. So that's case, maybe I fix it now. Huh? So I just click filter, I delete it. So I now got back original data. So now I click on analyze, go to regression, linear, then I put dependent, you know. And independent, we cannot put attitude because it is a mediating. So I put this three and the last two. Okay. So I did not put attitude in the box. Out of six independent, I did not put attitude. So now I click on the next here. Can you see? 
at the above independent there is a box nix i click on nix okay now i put attitude there then we go to statistics kindly repeat prof sorry sir, i didn't get that okay i i reset again <laughs> no problem so i put independent dependent and independent i cannot put attitude because remember in my drawing i showed you attitude is mediating right so it's not independent so i only put independent inside this box did you follow it yes sir mm -hmm. Yes, because sir. here, remember, we have five. Attitude is not independent, it's moderating. So I'm not going to put inside there. So once I do it, then you see next, there is a, there is a box here, next. So I click on next. Then I put the mediating here. Is it clear now? <laughs> yes, sir. Very well. Okay. The rays all are same, except one. I'll tell you which one. This all we clicked before. Now we have to click additional one. R is square change. Did you do that? R is square change. Okay, so that's the only thing you have to click additionally. The rest all you have to click as same as before. Click continue and then plot with similar thing we have to do as before. And I click OK. Here, there will be two models. Okay. You can see here two models. You can see model one, model two. Model one is just independent against dependent, model two, including moderate, may mediating. So become model two. So now we have two R square. Remember, we drop one variable, that's R square reduce. Remember, earlier, Brother Sayar was asking, can we drop a variable? If you drop variable, that's what will happen. Your R square will drop. It was 21%, remember? Now become 15% yes. with dropping of one variable. This is what it is now. You can see here, five variable. So with five variable, our R square is 15%. And when we add on the attitude as mediating, it becomes 17%. Okay. Uh, sorry, the R square, 18% to 21%, sorry. So R square is 18% to 21%. So when you see the R square change, you can conclude that there is, there is a mediating effect. Because when you introduce a new variable, the R square goes up. That's how we look at, which we do not really do anymore. Rather, we look at running three, Regression. We don't run only one regression and conclude. Eh? We don't do that anymore. Okay. So we just look at R square change and, and, and we conclude that. Okay. Anyone has a question? All you can see remain the same. Eh? Davin Orson and. Uh, uh. So can, you, can you please repeat it? R Which one do you want me to repeat, sister? Mo model summary. Model summary. What is summary? Okay. Uh, basically, here, if you look at R square, the first model is with five independent variable against dependent. So you have R square 18%. And when you include the mediating, it becomes 21.1%. Okay. Meaning that R square has changed 2.9% with introduction of mediating. So in that way, we can simply conclude that there is a mediating effect, looking at the change of R square. Okay, this is one way of looking at, uh, which I said that we do not really uh, encourage. But if you look at the coefficient here, is the attitude significant? Is the attitude significant here? Yes, sir. Yes, right. Yes. yes. Meaning that there is a mediating, oh, yes. mediating effect. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. By right, we're supposed yes. to have three regression, which I'm not running. Okay. I'm not running there. But this way also you can do it. Which we used to do it before this way. We used to do it before unless uh, uh, until the Wilson paper came out. 
Wilson paper came out in uh, 2015 or 2016. He said, no, testing mediating like this is not enough. Rather, you have to go for three-way communication. Independent to dependent, independent to mediating, mediating to dependent. That's how we have to conclude, okay? So that one, I'm not going to run. Huh? That one, I'm not going to run. But I'll explain to you. Here, we test the main hypothesis. Here, we test hypothesis. Okay. This all based on Barron and Kenny. These relationships are established based on previous literature. This one all established, this one all established. That's why you put them in the framework. This is not established. So in your study, if this hypothesis is proved at its huge intention, meaning that there is a mediating effect, and that becomes your contribution of the study. If this one is not significant, there is no mediating effect. Do you follow me? Will you follow me? I don't hello, have prof. time. Please, faster. Uh, hello, Prof. Yes, Brother Nora. Hello, hello, Prof. Yes, yes. Yes, Pro Prof. In this in this case, where there is no uh, mediating effect between the uh, uh, DV, so what what do we do in this case? You have to just conclude that attitude does not mediate the relationship between independent and dependent. Okay, okay, okay. Will that still be a contribution? <laughs> no, I think because. <laughs> you, you introduce a mediating because you want to prove that you are contributing something new. Nobody has tested before. So you want to prove that this okay. is a mediating. That's why you introduce mediating. If somebody okay. has somebody has okay. tested it before and concluded that it's different, but now you have to, because it, it doesn't have mediating, that's why you introduce as mediating. Okay. okay. Follow me, brother. Thank Dora. you, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Oh. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Is there any other question? Anyone? Yes, sir, sir. What if we have more than one mediating variable? Are we supposed to follow the same procedure? Yes, you can run together. You can put the mediating two together in the next box. Okay. Or you can run separately. Okay. Uh, if you run in PLS, it's uh, the safer one, but the spaces is a bit, you know, uh, advisable one is to run one. Uh, so you are running two different regression, but you can even put two together, no problem. Okay. Yes. Sir. Because at the end, attitude and other one, if you have one more going to intention, both got to be significant. If one significant, that one moderates. The other one not significant doesn't mediate. Sorry. Following me, if both has significant on intention, then both mediates. So you can run it in sim single model. You can run it in two different models, no problem. Okay. Shall I proceed? I proceed, huh? Yeah, yes, Prof. 